go to the earring. Okay, in and around. Up and over. Now we're going to take a little bit of that halo. Go underneath. Separate that. I might just grab that hair and pull it to the back just so I have a little bit of space. Again, just making sure it's nice and tight. One thing I didn't say in the last tutorial is that you need to kind of bring it down and in behind the ear. Um, it's really important later on because if you're going to sleep in this, you want it to be comfortable. And if it's blocking off your ear or you're having to sleep on something directly on your ear, um, it's actually very uncomfortable. So we just want to make sure that you bring... As you're bringing it down close to your head, you actually bring it down behind your ear. So around. Now it looks like we've loosened a little bit there. So I'm gonna go back one and just bring that hair in nice and tight so we don't have a very loose curl compared to the rest of them. And again, then we just twist the hair around the sash, trying to keep the sash as neat as possible. So you can barely see it when you're actually twisting it around. It almost should look like one of those old twister ice blocks. And again, we just tie that off. Trying to keep as much of that hair twisted as possible. And then what we do, I'll get Maddie to just spin to the back. And you take both sides and you retwist the hair onto that sash again because it would have kind of loosened a little bit. So we just try and make sure that that's all twisted. We take both sides and we take one underneath the other up and around and then we pull it in and around the front of the head and tie it off.